right? So uh, in this example, this is a calculation example. We have a data set uh, ages on a basketball team of the players, and we want to use our calculator or computer to find the mean and standard deviation, and then find the value that is two standard deviations above the mean. All right? So let's put these numbers in StatCrunch. You can copy and paste, or you can type them by hand. I think I'll just type them by hand. So let me put it in here. So I have, uh, let's see, Twenty nine, twenty nine, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, and three thirty sixes, and three thirty eights, and a forty. Right, so those let's verify one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good, we got 25 data values. All right, so we want to find the mean and standard deviation. You go to stats and summary stats and columns. You're going to click on var one because that's where our data is. And here you're going to choose which ones you want. So we want the mean and the standard ST dev. Okay, so hold the control button down or command if you're on a Mac, click SDDev and compute. And then it gives you the summary. Okay, so it gives us a mean of 30.68, a standard deviation of 6.09. So let's round it to 30.7 and 6.1. Thirty point seven and 6.1. So this is the mean. And this is the SD dev. All right, the mean is often abbreviated. Mean of a sample is like X bar, and the standard deviation is S. Okay, so those are kind of the notations. All right, um, so we want to find the value that is two standard deviations above the mean. So before we do that, let me make a histogram of this. I just want to see what the distribution looks like. So let's do histogram. We're going to click on bar, frequency, All right, so that's the histogram of it. It's not very symmetric. Right? And I mark the mean on it. Okay, so So the value that is two standard deviation above the mean, okay, so if we make a graph of our distribution, you can see we sort of got some bars and things, right? Whatever the distribution is, um, then the mean is some sort of center of the data. Okay, so the mean we found was at uh, 30.7. Let's say that's 30.7, right? And then we have um, some values are higher than the mean and some values are lower than the mean. Okay. Now the standard deviation is a good unit to measure how far a data point is from the mean. Right? So when we're asked to find the value that's two standard deviations above the mean, so two standard deviations above the mean, then we take the mean, which is 30.7, and we add 2 times 6.1, 2 times the standard deviation. So we get 30.7 plus 12.2, and that gives me 42.9. Right? So 
we have 42.9 here. This Around this data point, we are two standard deviations above the mean. We'll see as we do statistics that two standard deviation above the mean is a really significant data point because about 96% um, or over 96% of the data is contained within a two standard deviation above and below the mean. Anything that's sort of higher than two standard deviation and lower than two standard deviation is considered to be an unusual occurrence. It's very low probability that you you're gonna get that. So, so that's uh, why this uh, kind of question is significant. We'll definitely talk about uh, two standard deviations above and below the mean quite a lot uh, throughout this course. So this this value here is kind of like a critical point. Is like anything that's bigger than that is considered unusual um, occurrence.